What's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. I had way too many refried beans with my quesadillas tonight, so there's a slight possibility that I may be ending my career this evening to start up a gas station, if you catch my drift. <laughs> and, uh, welcome back to, uh, let's play some more Gran Turismo 3, the ultimate driving simulator. More or less, it, it's destroying me from the inside out. Like, it's literally going to make me implode. So, it's gonna be... Pretty bad. It was still no. It was totally worth it. I'm. I uh, I was at work today and just like all day. I was like, God, I'm so hungry. But I'm I'm not taking my lunch break today because I'm the only person here. So I can't actually physically do that. And so I was like, Well, so if I'm not taking a lunch break today, I better you know think of something good to you know eat when I get home. I was like, You know what sounds really good? Quesadillas. And not just any quesadillas. I'm talking like little mini ones. You know, I, I kind of I kind of created my own dollar menu style quesadillas when I got home. I had like a little can of uh, of green chilies and had a can of refried beans and had a you know a nice brick of white cheddar, sharp white cheddar, and I was like, all right, man, let's get to fucking business. And it was really one of those times when I wish that I had you know one of those uh, quesadilla maker things that everybody always seems to get as a wedding present. <laughs> <laughs> Which, hey, considering that I'm getting married in February, a uh, very strong possibility that <laughs> at one point or another, probably going to get one of those quesadilla makers from somebody. I don't know who. But, uh, hey, it would have been really, really nice to have had one of those. Because instead I decided to just kind of, you know, go f go out on a limb and just, you know, make them on the stovetop in, in like a frying pan. Like, nothing crazy. I just wanted to, you know put the little mini tortilla there and put some refried beans and cheese and green chilies on it and, you know, cover the thing up and call it good. Totally missed out on putting salsa in there, though. That was a that was a grave mistake that I really wish that I had. I, I was missing that entire element of, of spice and uh, just extra flavor and just kind of that refreshing kick. It was, it was a much more kind of bland and dense taste, but it was still good. Um, but, man... I should not have used that entire can, because <laughs> like about halfway through it, my stomach just started rumbling like the Fourth of July. You know, it was just it sounded it sounded like the thunder of of just like a crazy ass lightning storm in the Midwest somewhere, and it was just <laughs> which apparently my stomach you know turned into a biblical demon figure, um, but that's about a about the same thing. So, eh, more or less what we were dealing with. So hopefully it doesn't turn into Rumble in the Bronx in my cologne. But we'll see. Couple things, by the way. I, I'm super tired in case you cannot tell by the way my face looks in this uh, in the little face cam thing there. I am just fucking out of gas. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Um, my Not my grandma that I live with, but my other grandma who also has a lot of health concerns. She had to go to the hospital last night because she tripped and fell. She has a couple of, of wild health uh, health issues. She has lupus and she also has a condition called scleroderma, which uh, scleroderma is basically a terminal illness. I, I think lupus is too, actually. I think they're both ones that will eventually kill you when you, you know, if you get them. But scleroderma, it it's, uh, it pretty much like makes, if I remember correctly, I believe it makes your it makes your lung tissue like start to harden to where more or less your lungs like turn <laughs> you know kind of sort of like into stone like they just they just harden and eventually you know they shut down and that's kind of the end of it um, unless I am thinking of a different medical condition but I'm almost positive that's what it is uh, but dude it's it's all bad and so with her um, her oxygen quality is so low, like she has to be on, on oxygen at all times at an extremely high level because her lungs just aren't getting the job done. And so, because she literally cannot be without it at any period of time, um, she, basically her entire house is wired with it. You know, she's got, you know, like 40 canisters of oxygen in her house and she's just caught, she has like literally the entire house from head to toe just 
you know, rigged up with uh, with tubing to be able to get that oxygen flowing throughout, you know, uh, then the little thing that's like connected to her nose, and so, and I, ironically enough, of all the things that could possibly happen, she ended up tripping over one of those oxygen tubes, you know, uh, this the little st thing, and then tripped and fell. And you know, had like, got like a laceration under her eye, and like broke her. I think she either sprained or broke her wrist, and also um, also damaged her hip. And so she's she's at the hospital right now. But I didn't know that she. This all happened last night around like midnight. And so my dad called me in the middle of the night. He's like, "Hey, you know, I'm going to the hospital right now. So just to let you know, this is what's going on." And so you know, now my my anxiety and my fear is peaking. Of oh my god, like. I, what's the you know severity of this? But I I can't go down to the hospital because I have a genuine overbearing fear of hospitals. Not to mention that I had to open in the morning, anyways. And so I got home and I ended up not going to bed until probably 3:30, close to 4 in the morning, and uh, only got a couple hours of of sleep. And so I'm pretty pretty wiped out. I did as many things of filling myself up with sugar and other energy proprietors and then did not do the job <laughs> so if if you could if you're one that subscribes to you know to prayers or to good vibes or positivity of any kind please do send that to the way of my of my grandmother that is currently at Salem Hospital right now she's got a she's got surgery in the morning and hopefully it will go well because there is the entirely realistic possibility that, you know, she may not even make it through the surgery because of the condition that she's in. You know, they, they, deemed, they deemed that it was safe enough for them to do the surgery, unlike my grandmother here that I live with. You know, they wouldn't have been able to do her surgery uh, on her heart because it would have killed her if they tried doing it. So it, they're kind of... You know they're kind of rolling the dice a little bit in this situation with with her, and so we'll just have to hope for the best in this one and see you know what they can come up with. Because if it's successful, then it's good, and obviously if they are not, then we've got an entirely new set of of challenges to deal with. So yeah, so I'm just I'm you know kind of not all there tonight, but a couple of things that I have that I have come across in terms of information have. Uh, they are kind of bumming me out, you know? Actually, actually, three pieces of information now that I think about it. Um, number one is I found out that they are totally reviving the Man vs. Food show, which when I first heard about that, I was like, holy shit, this is amazing! <laughs> That's fantastic! I loved Man vs. Food. I, I, love, uh, I love Adam Richman. That guy was super awesome. Like, he was a really cool personality for that for that type of show not to mention that I'm fairly positive he has three stomachs he is basically um, he is basically like the disposal from hey Arnold that kid just or that guy can just eat himself into the ground it is insanity but uh, so I heard they're reviving the show and I was like oh sick he's gonna come back and do some more until I found out that that is not the case uh, unfortunately he will not be returning to the show. They have some other guy, uh, as I found out in the in the trailer commercial of it. And so it's still going to be the same premise, and this guy is still going to go around the country and do all the crazy food challenges and check out other you know local awesome restaurants in the city or surrounding area of the challenge he's doing. But it's some other guy, and it, I've never seen him before, and. He still seems like he's a you know a pretty a pretty cool down to earth dude that just loves to fucking pig out on awesome food. So I'm sure the show is still gonna be really tight, but it's just I don't know. It's just not gonna feel the same, you know. Like I don't know. There's just there's been there were so many fun moments of that show, um, especially of him eating, you know, extra spicy things like he, when he went and did um, I think it was called like the shut up sandwich challenge or something. It was like some crazy pulled pork sandwich that had this barbecue sauce on it that was so hot that he literally couldn't speak. <laughs> and he was just like, he was just like pounding his fist into the table and just like losing his ever-loving mind. And like all the spicy sushi things that he did, he, uh, he ate like a, he had like the one, the very first episode of it that I ever saw was when he and one other guy ate like that insanely enormous pizza and they had to do it without 
uh, without vomiting over the course of like a couple hours or something like that, and I don't think that they did it. And uh, yeah, dude, it was just it was it, it was cool, and so I don't know. I, I feel like I'm probably unfairly judging this other guy before he even steps into the arena, you know, to do this. But it was just it was kind of a bittersweet moment, you know. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like when Michael Jordan went to the Washington Wizards, like. It's, it's still there, and you know that it's still awesome, but it's just not the same anymore, you know? It's a, that's, that's just kind of the feeling that I, that I got with that, at least. So that was one thing. Um, another thing, and I just the, the third thing I have totally forgotten now, which is kind of bumming me out, but this, the second thing is... Um, so that, that live-action uh, live interpretation or adaptation of, of Death Note... Uh, just released on Netflix, just to, you know, this week, I believe, and I haven't watched it yet, but I, and I was super, super excited for this. I, I remember talking about it, potentially on one of these episodes, I think it was, that I had actually talked about that. That was not a very good turn. I, uh, I really need to learn, oh no, I really need to learn to stop taking that particular corner so tight. Like, I need to, I need to kind of, you know, go around, you know, take a more you know, outside approach to it, because I'm, I'm going, I'm taking it so sharp that I'm not giving myself an opportunity to even complete that thing properly. It's just, I'm setting myself up for failure. Oh, no. Oh, no. This, this is not happening right now. I am not going to allow this. Okay. Luckily, I know I'm faster. This is a real problem now. I know I'm faster. I know that I am better. Here we go. Okay, why? <laughs> hey, man, I guess I, I guess I kind of wanted it to be a bit of a challenge here. And oh no, 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 no. Okay, we're good. All right. I, for some reason, I thought they took that corner a lot better than they did. But hey, we got out of it alive. Rome Circuit is always a bastard. But yeah, so I was super, super excited for it. This you know new live action Death Note you know deal, and every. Every single one. I have not seen one review from from people whose opinions I trust on things. I have not heard one single person say that that was good. Not one of them. And that is such a bummer. I mean, not to say that, you know, I could totally watch it and it would be, and I would think that it was great. You know, not everybody's opinions are exactly the same on stuff like that, but it just, uh, it's just, it's like yet another thing that you want it to be great and they totally fuck it up <laughs> you know it's uh, it, ma it makes me sad so yeah that was that was another one that was that was another thing but i think wasn't uh didn't it come out as like a movie i think it came out as a like a movie which i think may have been partially why it you know was such a belly up experience cuz if i i've and i've only seen death note all the way through once i isn't it like um like 35 or 40 episodes like I feel like that's kind of a lot of, of, of content to cram into such a small window you know I mean you know that's that really should have been the kind of thing that they do you know some kind of mini series with rather than just one installation but you know what are you, what are you gonna do it's just kind of a, a failure in and of itself I totally had another thing that I was going to talk about, and it totally escaped me. And that is... that is bugging me. Ugh, I hate having to do this course backwards, damn it. It is so annoying. I am so bad at judging certain areas of this track, especially in backwards orientation. In the, in the front way, it's not nearly as bad, because you get all of... You get all the weird, weavy stuff out of the way first. And then, oh no, oh no! Okay, oh god. Hey, you get like all the weird like bob and weave situations out of the way much earlier in the race, and then you kind of get more of the traveling through the the nice, you know, nice, easy country road or forest laden road for the rest of the of the lap. Oh god, this is not going to be a pretty race. But hey, no one said that it was supposed to be. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Here we go. Let's do the damn thing. I am very, very antsy at getting through this. 
Let's do it. Let's rock. Let's rock today, says the guy from School of Rock. It was Jack Black. I don't know why I just forgot his name. Oh, baby. I am so fucking tired right now. You know what other game I've, I've become very addicted to over the last, uh, over the last like month or so, is uh, Golf Clash. By the way, that game is so much fun. Oh man! I mean, aside the fact that you know I'm I'm obviously like an adamant lover of golf, but I feel like there are a lot of people that play that game that are you know that they're not even necessarily you know really big golf fans that are that are playing it. It's just it's so addicting because it's not it's a game that only requires about. You know, about five or six minutes of your time, you know, per match. Like you're only you're doing all head-to-head -head games, and they you you only play one hole apiece. You know, it's just it's just a one hole heads-up competition, and it's you know who can finish the hole in you know in fewer strokes than the other guy, and if you finish in the same amount, you get to do one uh, one playoff hole where they give you like a little par three, and uh, it's just who can get their shot closest to the pin. It's and it's so simple and they you know you can you can you win coins and you win little things and every time you win a match you get like a little prize chest and it has uh, and you can like upgrade your clubs and like your clubs have like experience bars on them and in these chests you can get like experience for your stuff and it's so addicting because you know you just like it it, gi it gives you that you know striving to want to you know improve your you know your arsenal of stuff so that you can you know, get all the best things and, and, you know, continue winning and all that, and get all the achievements and all that stuff. I don't think we're going to win this race, by the way. I'm just not seeing it. It's just not going to happen. We, we've been down this road before in situations where, you know, we've been driving similar vehicles, and it just, it's just not going to happen, you know? We've, we've had multiple opportunities here to try to close the gap, and it's just not happening. I don't know why. You know? Ah, no! God damn it. I don't know why these other cars are so much better at, you know, taking some of these corners than I am, you know? Like, we all have the same stuff in our car, and yet it seems like they're just doing it totally effortlessly. And I'm sitting here, like, struggling to get basic maneuvers done and out of the way. I mean, if anything, just let me get second place now. Come on, God damn it! I feel I, I I feel like I shouldn't have to be I shouldn't have to be doing this stupid God fucking damn it! And I'm gonna have to go back and do this race again with the same car. Like I can't just cheese it and you know bring out one of the big boys or whatever. I gotta sit here and do it that same fucking way. Ugh. So close. So close to getting a clean sweep here, but no, no. If there were any two races in this whole fucking thing that were going to blow that for me, it was either going to be Deep Forest, or it was going to be Rome Circuit. It's always got to be those two. I don't feel like I really lose on any other track anymore, outside of just those two. But we got a little bit of money. That's that's certainly fine. And we get a prize car, which I don't know what it's going to be. I mean, my my idea would be that it's probably going to be an Audi, but it looks like we have many other ideas here. What could it be? It's an Audi S4 that I don't need because I already have one. I don't even really like the color of that either. It, it, it actually visually doesn't even really look that good. But yeah, man, it's it's been it's been uh, it's been pretty cool. It's it's been quite a uh, it's been quite a nice experience really um, of, of playing of playing this golf clash game I've I've had a couple of really cool moments where I had uh, like a I got a hole in one on one of those shootout challenges and <laughs> if I were the other guy I'd be so pissed off you know thinking that you've you've got it down like he had he had his tee shot and it was it was like it was only like you know 1.5 feet away it was like yeah like 1.5 feet away it was really really close to uh, you know, to the uh, to the pin, and you know he's he's like you know doing the good luck and fuck you kind of thing. Like they give you pre-set responses so that people can't just talk mad shit the whole time. And so I walk up there and I you know set up everything and I just totally just drill it right into the hole. And he just he was so mad. <laughs> it was fantastic. It made me happy. So that is my new addiction game at this point. But eh, what are you gonna do? 
So, I know this wasn't the most, you know, thrilling episode in the, in the history of the world. I just, uh, I've been just really out of it today, you know? I, like, I almost debated just going to bed when I got home, but eh, I, I was like, you know what? I gotta do something. I haven't played this in a while, and I really want to, and so we're gonna do that. So, my friends, we're gonna stop right here. When we come back next time, and let's play some more Gran Turismo 3, the ultimate driving simulator. Uh, we're gonna go back, and we're gonna finish... And we're going to take a crack at Deep Forest Raceway 2 again, because we have to. And uh, after that, we'll see what other tournament is left. And we'll go jump into that. But until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching. And uh, I will see you guys next time. So take it easy, and I'll catch you later. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.